Safe Moon version 2. Ooh, it is so close, guys. And I know, oh, the frustration. You keep waiting, you wake up, and you're wondering, like, oh, let me go check social media. Let me go check Twitter. Let me go check Discord. Let me open the Safe Moon wallet. Let me go to the Play Store and see if there's an update in the wallet. Let me look at all these things to see if it's finally here. And it's not. It's another day. I understand, guys. But it looks like we're very, very close. We got some new information that came out that I think is very interesting. I want to share that with you in today's video. Before I do get any further, I want to say a special shout out. Thank you to our Patreon supporters. And a double shout out. Thank you to Rem AG for being a higher tiered supporter. We currently have 33 patreon supporters if you want to join that for as little as a dollar a month there's a link in the description also please keep in mind i'm not a financial advisor everything i'm sharing is my own opinion it's my own research i highly encourage you to go do your own research and with that being said let's go ahead and get into the news so first off we have a question here that was asked over in discord to john the ceo it says when are you going to start working on bridges again and john's response was after version two so a lot of people have been wondering myself included Whatever happened to the EOS bridge? What happened to the WAX bridge? Like, supposedly I thought that Papa was working on those, but Papa doesn't, or Thomas, right? Thomas doesn't work at SafeMoon anymore. So what happened? Did he do much of any development on those? Did other people just take that over? Because he did get moved over the chief blockchain officer uh, role, title, and I guess he made a testnet version, but... He didn't actually fully finish the blockchain for its launch. Okay, anyways, <laughs> enough of that. So you got the bridges. It looks like that's coming after version two. In addition to that, somebody said, people, stop panicking. It's just adding liquidity to version two. And John responded saying, stop panicking. Upgrading has begun. We are finishing our internal items so it's ready for you all. So they're making moves, and it quite literally looks like they're making moves over through the Discord side. We talked about these 21 different wallet accounts that had moved yesterday. And as far as for today, we do have a series of these transfers that have taken place from large wallet accounts as well. Amount moved, $90 billion. That one still has $1.15 trillion. Here's another one. It moved $450 billion. Still has $403 billion left in there. $450 billion moved over from another wallet address. It still has $403 billion left. And another one that moved $450 billion still has $403 billion left there too. So a lot of people are starting to think that this could be liquidity pool transfers being moved over. These could be associated with different exchanges and just trying to do the preparations so that they are ready to go for SafeMoon version 2. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below. And uh, what was also mentioned here, the question was, so you think they are letting whales migrate to SafeMoon version 2 token early? Doesn't seem right. And John responded saying, nope, that isn't happening. Everyone evolves to version 2 together. So, it sounds like nobody has actually moved to the SafeMoon version 2 contract as of yet. This is just all preparation phase stuff. And, I mean, I don't know if they're doing things with the exchanges technically first. So that way then when version 2 launches, you have the ability to now make the purchases. But nobody's actually making purchases right now. I don't know if that's the case. And that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. I do have referral links in the description if you want to get free cryptocurrency or free stock. You can check out Coinbase, Gemini, BlockFi, Weeble. I mean, there's lots of really good referral program stuff that's going on right now. So if you guys have a little bit of extra time and you're not on one of those platforms, it very well could be worth your time to go look at it and you'll be surprised, right? I am not a financial advisor. Again, this is not financial advice. Go do your own research. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to hit subscribe. Hit the thumbs up like button. It does help us out with the YouTube search algorithm. Click the bell icon so you know whenever we go live. And I will see you in the next episode.